Hello there. Um, yeah, this is a CNC machine that I built about a week or two ago. Um, it kind of sucks. It's not very accurate. Uh, it's already kind of <laughs> broken on me. And um, anyway, all in all, I'm not too happy with it. So I've been building another one. And I kind of stumbled across a nice little, very simple linear bearing. Because the problem I had was, one of the problems I've had was this one is because you notice these bars are very thin, just 8 millimeters. Uh, because the linear bearings I can get my hands on for cheap were only 8 millimeter, millimeter bearings <laughs> thanks to the uh, 3D uh, printing industry. But uh, for CNC like milling, you really want something a bit thicker. But anything a bit thicker than 8 millimeters like just skyrockets in price. So for a cheap alternative, I was a, uh, building my own bushings. Uh, and because this plastic that I'm using is from a cutting board from the dollar store, it has a very low melting temperature. I'm getting a bit of a ridge, which, well, whatever, uh, that doesn't really bother me too much. But anyway, I was looking for uh, some materials, and I stumbled across some a uh, conduit piping. And uh, kind of clicked in my head, it's like, oh, hey, I can use this. So I cut this off to, uh, in this case, a, uh, I believe it's not yet, yeah, 9 centimeters. Yeah, I think that's 9 centimeters in length. Um, just pop them onto the both ends. Slide them on, glue them together. You get something like this. And it actually works really great. Two seconds. It slides super easily. And uh, even if it was like force, it still slides quite nicely. And it's very strong. Like no play. It's uh, just perfect. And super cheap to make. Like I said, the bushings are from the dollar store. Condo is just like cut off pieces. Like you don't need to buy full thing but even if you do you can build a lot of these for like one eight foot length and um, yeah super cheap super strong super easy to make uh, here just give me two seconds let's gonna scooch over here that's what I used to make it uh, I basically built uh, drew out uh, grids uh, drew X in the uh, boxes to mark to center drilled a uh, uh, oh yeah, a half inch a uh, diameter, which is the diameter of my rods that I'm using. Then I used a, a hole drill uh, of 22 millimeters around to a punch it out. That's why you see the punch outs. And then you end up with a uh, bushing that works perfectly. And I don't know, I thought it was a great little, very simple thing to do. Pretty much anybody can do it at home. You can even use a hand drill. I'll use a uh, drill press, a bit straighter. But uh, because there's a bit of play, between here and the bushing you can actually uh, adjust it a little bit as you're gluing it and once it's set it's straight and it works awesome I think anybody can do this at home and uh, it's a great alternative to having to buy expensive linear bearings you can actually use it as a rotary bearing as well because there's no balls to worry about yeah I just thought I'd mention that take care I'll see you hopefully soon I know I keep saying that, even though it's usually like a couple weeks in between videos. And uh, once I can, I'm done this, I can work on my Quimpy a lot more. Alright, take care. Bye.